A lot of us are working from home and whether you have a dedicated home office or you're using the dining room table, you can give your setup a boost of energy. Here with some tips is Feng Shui Master Dana Claudette. How are you? Great, thank you so much for having me. And we're gonna start today with burning salt. So salt burning is incredibly powerful. My clients love it. Not a lot of people know about it, but you have to do it safely. So to start, put your kids, make them safe, put them aside, make sure they're being watched, make sure your animals are out of the way. You also wanna make sure that you have no distractions and you're gonna take a fire safe container and fill it up with salt. So I have plain sea salt here. You can also use table salt and I've added rubbing alcohol. So to make it a little quicker, I just added it in advance. Another safety thing you wanna do is keep it away from anything flammable because this is gonna be a huge flame. So now I also have a pan with some water in it. I suggest you light it in the pan with water. So once you light this, and you can see the flame is starting to go now. Mm -hmm. This is going to take all the stress out of your room, all the stress out of your life, but you're going to watch this and not take your eyes off of it because as it burns, again, it's going to be doing a lot of cleansing. And once it's extinguished, probably in around 15, 20 minutes, you'll feel an enormous shift in your space. Ooh, okay, so 15, 20 minutes of burning salt. I have never seen that before. That's very cool. Uh, looks like a good way to start. Now, are there any feng shui principles for the way you arrange things on your desk? Oh my gosh, yes. There are so many ways to set up your desk with intention. So we're gonna do this oriented toward the way you're facing your desk. So as you face your desk to the far left of your desk, as you're sitting, that's the money area. And everyone loves money, so you wanna grow your wealth. That's why I have a big plant in the corner. Plants are amazing anywhere in your house, but far left of your desk to grow your wealth. I also love to have a bowl of money or a piggy bank or something else that's actually collecting money. That's really fun. You see money in front of you. And also a crystal. I have an amethyst because I love the empowering nature of an amethyst but you can have any kind of crystal that you love. Now, over here on the far right side is where we have the love area. You wanna work with passion. So twos of objects for love. So I have two containers with my pens, a light of some sort, any sort of light you work with. I have a salt lamp here, and you could also have pictures of your loved ones because that's always lovely. Oh my goodness, I don't know which way, which side to go to. Do I go over here to the money? Do I? Go over there to the love or just make sure both sides are well taken care of, right? Because you want all the, the money and the love in your life. Now, uh, I notice you also have art there. So tell us about that, Dana. Yes, so I'm a big fan of vision boards, mood boards, or any art that's really empowering and keeps your eye on the prize. Because when you're working at home especially, every day can feel the same. And so you wanna keep your eye on the prize and what you're creating. So you can grab some old magazines, tear them up, grab any kind of glue and a big board, and you're gonna paste together your vision board of the things that inspire you, the words that inspire you. I like to actually add gold paint to it to add extra energy. You wanna really add more vibes. Another thing that's really important is to take breaks so that you stretch because it's tempting to just sit all day long when no one's interrupting you and stay hydrated. So I always keep a pitcher of water on my desk. So I like to put either a handful of mint or a handful of rosemary in my water. Rosemary and mint are both abundance herbs, so they bring in more wealth. Ooh, these are great tips. Just one last thing, Dana, is there anything that you do at the end of the day to just keep that good energy flowing uh, for the next day? Absolutely, you wanna really end your day well. So I like to clear off the desk, clean it down, wipe it down with a towel so that you're greeted with a fresh start. You can also just keep flowers in your house, keep them at your desk. It keeps the freshness going. And if you want to review your to-do list for the next day, and you can make it into a little ritual, light a candle, sit down, go through everything, and then maybe meditate, relax, and then, put the work away because it's so easy when you're working at home to keep on working and it's important to have that downtime so you can take care of yourself as well. Fantastic tips, Dana. Thank you so much.